Okay, so uh, this is a little video about my airlift pump redesign and um, uh, this is how it is at the moment. So air comes in through um, an aquarium um, standard air, air tube and it goes up through a 4 to 7 millimeter tube that's the internal diameter and that's 3 16 to 1 quarter inch internal diameter and I can pump up 5 or 6 feet and uh, or up to 2 meters about so <coughs> here we have a larger tube that uh, is press fit over the uh, qu uh, quarter inch or 3 16 and on this side it can be the same thing it can be quarter inch or 3 16 but it's vital to have another small tube in the end of it or have this as, as mostly a small tube you have to plug this somehow and make the hole as small as possible because if you don't when this starts up there is a likelihood that air will go this way some of the time at least and also uh, what happens is the air comes up here water slows down and um, when the water slows down going up here you have this uh, to and fro of water here but by having this sealed off or not sealed off but uh, a, a small hole it prevents this and directs more of the energy up there another thing I want to, uh, you to note is that this pipe has a, a very big moderating effect on uh, how the air comes in here so this pipe um, uh, the water is very slowly going this way depending on how high you're going but it becomes um, a source of inertia so that the water this um, makes the flow going up through the airlift pipe more even just having this inertia here so uh, and I don't know um, like it's years since I did anything on Re uh, Reynolds numbers and stuff like that so there'll be an ideal size uh, for this tube depending on how high you go and there'll be an ideal size for the hole and there's also a thing called uh, diode uh, diodosity of the of the the entrance hole here like the entrance can be a cert made a certain way which will um, <coughs> enhance the water the water comes through easier one direction than the other so if the water goes in easier that way than going out this way it's almost like a a valve with no moving parts anyway so that's that part of it now I want to show so I did an earlier video today and it was showing quite extraordinary uh, lift and um, the the little plugs of, of water were maintaining their size fairly good as a, if you see a plug of water going up and and going fast and then going slow as it's going fast you'll notice it's getting smaller and as it slows down you notice it's getting bigger so the ideal is to have the plugs of water going up at a very even rate and that means that the pressure is even and this little wiggle thing isn't going on here and now I'm just going to show you my piece of video from today and uh, just watch now this is my little manometer thing uh, and you see the water level here is going up and down so that means there's something wrong somewhere to see watch it again it's going up and down if that is steady that would be a really good thing anyway so if you happen to do this I'd love other people to do the experiment I'll go back to the um, the little bucket thing again um, because it's it's very simple like this bucket I have is um, whatever 14 or 15 14 centimeters high and uh, the, so but you can have something that's um, what am I saying 14 inches so about uh, 35 centimeters high but you could have something um, say five or six inches high so six inches is 15 centimeters high so it's, it'll be easy to watch what's going on because this bucket I have is all full of mucky water and it's 
come back from the plants so uh, but if you have something about 15 centimeters six inches high and do these little experiments in you might be able to extend the height or extend the make uh, try longer and shorter pipes and make this thing work uh, even better because as it stands it's it's pretty it's way more useful than I ever anticipated it being because I was thinking um, the, the maximum uh, submergence here or sorry the minimum submergence was going to be about uh, uh, about 18 to 20 centimeters but now the minimum submergence is only about um, nine or ten centimeters which is quite the difference and uh, nine or ten centimeters means that this can be used in a whole range of other places that I never even dreamed of before anyway I'm gonna stop it uh, thanks for watching and I hope it makes sense to you thank you bye bye